What's going on guys? Welcome back to another live breakdown of a service business. And today we're going to go over a live breakdown of the marketing of a roofing company. Okay. The name is Equinox Roofing. And if you're wondering why we're doing it is because these guys booked a call with us, didn't show up. And so we're going to do basically a teardown of their marketing see what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong, so you guys can learn from it. And as, I don't know if you know this or not, but they probably know because they didn't show up, didn't notify, they won't be able to work with us. So they can enjoy whatever we're doing right now, learn, improve if they want to. If not, that's up to them. But they're not the focus here. You guys are. So we're going to do basically a live teardown of their marketing. All right. So... First thing, okay, looking at their website, looks really, really clean, okay? This is way better than a lot of the uh, service business uh, that I see, okay? Uh, very clean, I love the fact that the video is, um, you know, like with their team, it's not just a stock video. Uh, great, I would improve just the quality of it because it seems like a little bit of uh, pixelated, but other than that, that looks great. Um, here, get free estimate. Another big mistake that a lot of people are doing is that they should have the free estimate like at worst down this page. Like this, this shouldn't be forwarding you to another page. Not to mention here you have to like do all this like process and like all this stuff. Like it reduces the amount of leads you're getting drastically now if you're like a i don't know 100 million dollar a year roofing business and you're getting a lot of spam that's fine you can add some friction but not to this extent this is not the way to go another thing that i would do and i see that they only do it up here is i would put a call now right next to it so people see right in front of them these two options not everyone watches this, especially if we're on mobile. So we wanna make sure that we have right next to it another option to call now, okay? Um, all right, so a quality roofing solution in the Bay Area, all right. All right, so we have some uh, um, some social proof that, you know, the Thumbtack, top 2022 award, Google five stars, that's great. All right, some projects that they've that they've done. Again, seems like um, um, authentic, original images of them. That's great. Okay, the website is intuitive, feels great. Built on, I want to say WordPress, but let me just confirm. Yeah, built on WordPress, beautiful embedding of the you know google reviews will help them on their seo that's great okay before and after pictures amazing like the, the marketing company that they use they're they know what they're doing okay great 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 job um let's look at some of their service pages okay so right now here we have their service area let's click on orinda all right beautiful so Okay, so this is where a lot of people get it wrong. What what I mean by that? Service pages are landing pages like any other landing page. This service page should look much more like this home page, which is very intuitive, you know, feels like it covers everything rather than a blog post that covers all this bullshit content, okay? And doesn't really add much of user experience to it. This should be almost identical in terms of the design. And the only thing that need to change is the content. So you can see that they're trying to do some, you know, old school SEO stuff, which is having, you know, the, the meta tags and the um, H1, H2, H3 tags up here um, with different paragraphs. It doesn't add much value and, and doesn't feel right. So this is not the way to do it, guys. So make sure that your design is 
almost identical, if not identical to your homepage. And the only thing that needs to be different is the content. More so, there is no call to action in the middle of the screen. There is no video nowhere to be found. There is no call to action. All right, get free estimate again, forwards you to a different page. Wrong way to go about it. Um, so this is really in a nutshell over this. I love the fact that they're, that they're using some internal linking, really good stuff. Um, and let's see some of their service pages. Yeah, same, same thing. Okay. Um, no video. Don't like it. Q and a beautiful thing that they have it. Um, that's pretty much on this part. And it seems like that they do have YouTube channels. So why not integrate some of these videos inside of your pages? Wrong way to go about it. Okay. Um, let's look them up on Google. Equinox roofing California all right so 75 star review beautiful all right so we have this uh, type of products beautiful let's look at the reviews why didn't it all right see if you all Google reviews no review response, really bad, okay? Losing a lot of SEO juice from it. They're not responding to all these uh, Google reviews, okay? No bueno. Um, let's see their posts. Okay, 26 minutes ago. So their post is just the Google reviews, which is great. You know, it's it's great that you're connecting it and linking it. It's awesome, but it shouldn't be just that. Where are some of the blog posts? Where are some of the added value that you're bringing to people? Just having these Google reviews. All right, you see, like we had to scroll all the way to May, like almost a year ago, May 23, uh, to get some blog posts. Um, yeah, this is something that needs to be part of your basically SEO uh, philosophy, part of your SOP um, needs to be done on a daily and if not daily, at least weekly basis that you're putting up this content on your on your um, Google business profile. OK. Um, all right, let's look up their ads so um google ads library so let's go and look them up on the ads transparency and look them united states Can't seem to find them. Let's go on Meta. Okay, Equinox Roofing. All right, so we can see their ad. Okay, special offer. Okay, 
I would never, I don't want to say never, but last, last thing I would do is run Facebook ads for a service business into a landing page. Okay. You want to capture these leads on meta. So on Facebook and Instagram, you don't want to send the traffic to a landing page. Okay. They're losing a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, the, the leads. Yes. You might get lower quality and you might need to filter out more, but it makes the experience so much better for the user. It's way better to work with the uh, Facebook lead form and you can test out the messenger, which might get you some, uh, um, some, uh, um, you know, like spam and irrelevant leads, but I wouldn't send leads to, um, to a landing page, to be honest, for a service business. Another thing there, I don't see that they're doing any video ads. It's only these, you know, AI, whatever it is. And that's, that's pretty much it. Um, it seems like they probably start working with a, a marketing company towards the end of, uh, 2023 when they start to launch their ads. Um, but it's like, you can see it's, it's very, very, um, basic, um, doesn't seem like a lot of thought has been put into the copyright side of things. Um, and there's no, not a lot of variations. Um, so this is something for you guys as advertisers to really think of. So I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of this uh, company Equinox Roofing. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe for more breakdowns, for more marketing breakdowns just like this. And if you're a service business owner, want to learn how to generate your own leads, want to learn how to run these ads, want to learn how to advertise and do SEO and everything yourself without ever being dependent on anyone else because at the end of the day, you can trust no one. Like you just saw with their, with their Facebook ads, if they knew better and if they knew how to do it themselves, they might said, okay, let's run multiple type of ads. Let's run a little bit of ads towards lead form and a little bit of ads towards landing pages and let's test out who performs better. Let's do a little bit more of uh, uh, organic stuff online. But when you're not, when you don't know, and I'm betting that these guys are spending thousands of dollars a month just on their uh, marketing uh, agency, okay, which is tens of thousands of dollars a year without you even knowing what you're doing, you're missing out big time. And for them, unfortunately, because they didn't show up, they won't be able to join us. But if you are serious about taking your service business in 2024, and onwards, taking it to the next level. You understand the importance of you knowing how to generate your own leads yourself, and you're serious about growing your business. There's going to be a link down underneath this video. Book a call. Make sure to hit this time. You're in front of a computer, ready to get started. And if not, let us know so we won't waste our our team won't waste our time because time is money, and the way that we value your time, you should value ours as well. If that's you, we'll be happy to help you learn and master like we did with hundreds of other service business owners in the service industry space. So that's it for now. Again, make sure to hit the like and subscribe. And I'm going to see all of you guys here in the next one. Peace.